Hi guys, okay, I'm back. Anyways, so what I'm trying to say is, what if, if we're thinking that God is, in His ultimate wisdom, is a perfect being, the universe is a perfect being, which I do, let's, let's just go off on that page, and, and God makes us perfectly the way that we're supposed to be, and we come into this world as babies and kids with, with magic and the ability to dream and, and, and anything is possible, and we have these imaginary friends, and we have all this great, creative, fun, imaginary stuff and that we can connect with. And that's how God made us. Maybe that's how God intended us. Maybe that's how the universe intended us. But then life takes it away from us through, you know, uh, working hard or not having enough money or, or broken relationships. We lose that spark. But maybe the magic that we have as kids is actually real and maybe God has intended us to come into this world as those magical beings like children but to carry that through our entire life and let's say that's true because if we come into the world that way and God is perfect and that's how we come into this world but then the world takes that away from us after we get a little older you know, which, which has more value, this world or God, or the universe? So what I'm saying to you is, I believe that we come into this world perfect, all of us, and that magic that we have as kids, imagination, creation, imaginary friends, I believe that that's all real, and that's the beginning process for us to learn how to use our, our creation, our magic, our consciousness, and so what I want you guys to think about is that for a second. That we, maybe we come into this world really as magical beings. As beings able to create with our consciousness, our imagination, our creation, anything. And to be anything. And to affect anything. And so going off that, one of the teachings that I've gotten is that the Dean family wants us to use our energy, our focus our energy in healing the planet, but also to focus our energy in through these same consciousness practices. It's basically sending energy waves. They want us to use that in a way to go after the bad guys. And so here's what they kind of explain to me. So they want us to every day quiet ourselves for maybe one or two minutes, close our eyes, see the earth in space, and, and pick a symbol for yourself. Mine is a triangle, but you could have any symbol you want. And then see that symbol hovering over earth in space, and then see, imagine all the, all the beings and all the worlds are sending you a cosmic golden white energy ray. That energy ray comes through space to your symbol it goes down through your symbol through space through sky into your head and out through your head you're able to for, uh, you're able to send this energy beam and it looked to me what it looks like for me is i'm sending energy beams and when it hits a target the target is basically you know, the energy beam is basically the circle like energy circle and so basically what i want you to focus on is Sit quietly, see what I just told you, see space, see your symbol in space, see these, this, all the beams from all the world sending you this energy beam, the energy beam comes all the way from space, uh, goes into your triangle, and then you see the planet sitting below your, 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 your shape, whatever that shape is, and then you send that energy beam directly to the planet, and it hits first the top part of the planet, and then your energy beam slowly works its way all the way across the planet, healing everything in its path, healing all beings in its path, healing Earth in its path, and that energy beam is going inside Earth and across, and the wave goes all the way, all the way across Earth from north to south, and then as the energy beam exits, it basically shoots across space, healing everything and all beings and all worlds in space, and it goes all the way into infinity, and then it hits this golden circle. I don't know what the golden circle is, but it hit, it's at, at the end of infinity, it hits this golden circle, 
and this golden circle then sends the energy back and now the energy beam comes back and it hits Earth again, not from the north position but from the south position. And then that wave goes all the way across Earth, inside and out, healing all the way, all the way to, to the tip north and now all of that is healed. And then you send, then that energy beam basically goes inside Earth, heals all of inside Earth, and then it goes to the east section of Earth. And that energy beam then goes out of Earth, flies across the universe to infinity, heavy, healing everything in its path, hits another golden circle, and then comes back as a beam of energy, hits Earth again from the east position, and goes all the way across Earth, healing everything in its path, and hits the west position, and then as it exits Earth, everything has been healed, and now it flies across the universe and infinity, healing everything in its path, and hits another golden circle, and that golden circle at the end of infinity sends the energy beam across. Oh, look, a helicopter.